boys what is going on and welcome everybody back to another player review so today we'll be reviewing the new center back foot birthday mario hermoso i believe it is six foot tall high medium work rates and five star skill moves i believe the first center back with five star skill moves on fifa so this will be very very fun remember boys as well if you do go on to enjoy the review a like and sub does go a long way we're gonna try smash out a few of these reviews uh there's also a hunter objectives guide on the channel for you guys as well so boys we're literally gonna get straight into it you know enough rambling just get straight into it 84 pace we've gone with a shadow which puts him to 94 pace 92 acceleration 96 sprint speed his passing for a center back is relatively good and if you guys watch my reviews or have watched my reviews before you will know how much i love passing as a center back feel like it's a very underrated stat desai has very poor passing and he did catch me out in the weekend league with some crooked passes so that 80 passing as a center back would be huge and the dribbling the 82 agility the 71 balance for a center back this man is going to feel very very good on the ball defensive wise he is phenomenal and physical wise he is very solid with, with a shadow chemistry style he does go to 99 slide tackle 99 stand tackle 91 awareness 98 interceptions honestly unreal he does not have any traits but what i really like about this card is not only the five star skill moves as it's fun the work rates I would say uh, that, that's just one thing that will put me off a little bit because high medium work rates as a center back, I do not dig that at all. High attacking work rates for one is not good. Medium defensive work rates for a center back is not good whatsoever. But the thing is with this card, his pace is solid, but once he's got 82 agility, uh, 73 dribbling, which is honestly not bad for a center back, especially compared to Desai's 50 dribbling. He's going to feel very, very surprisingly good on the ball considering he is a center back, which, as I said, I feel like uh, passing and dribbling as a center back does go under the radar. It can get you out of some very tight positions, so I'm very interested to see how he plays. Now, for the custom tactics, we're playing him in a 4 triple 2 but make sure with these custom tactics, usually he will be, but make sure he's on stay back while attacking. You need to have these instructions, even if you're ultra attacking, because with his high medium work rates, it's, it's always instructions over work rates for me. If someone's got low, low work rates, which would be terrible, but if they do, if you have the right instructions on them, then they'll somewhat be, you know, usable in that aspect. So just make sure he is on stay back while attacking. Without further ado, boys, let's hop into the Mario Hermoso, I believe it is, review. Alright, boys, here we go. We have decided to play foot champs because full send. It'll be interesting to see how he does do in foot champions. I do have some games to play. Rob, well, he's got base Ronaldo, and it looks like he's at Schweinsteiger. It's a very solid team. His name is obviously Old Ronnie, so, I mean, he's probably happy that he has packed R9. It's it's a very nice team. It's a nice, as McJowell would say, a nice, cheeky team. I've yet, I'm yet to face that Giroud, so it'll be interesting to see how the game pans out. Honestly, let's give this to him straight away, man. Okay. Wow. Right, so going from Desai, like a 60 balance, 60 agility, to a Hermoso, that difference in agility is unreal and i already know i feel like i'm gonna get some comments saying can he play cdm i'm telling you now his shooting won't be great you you've seen cdms with poor shooting such as makalele have him on stay back he'd be a very good defensive cdm and like i said he's got the agility and balance for that uh, absolutely unreal i have not used a player that that smooth on the ball as a center back for a long time man the closest player or center back i've used that feels that good on the ball would be my road to the final akanji that's jammy that's very jammy boys i knew it was coming as well that is the most jammiest thing i've ever seen in my life what i've just realized what's happened right he gets a ball hits a post my goalie dives 10 seconds late and it is rebound okay all right Hermoso versus Sheru. Hermoso goes in for that tackle and he does not disappoint. Beautiful tackle there. Sends Bruno away now as well. If we could score from this, this would be class. We'll take it, boys. 3-1 up and 
it's Pele. Yeah, I'm just going to speed that up because technically we did score from that play. Hermoso actually got that tackle. And once again, you could say his passing speed once he felt good on the ball. He released that ball. He tackled it, released that ball straight away to Sam Broder. And I've noticed with him, he's very, very responsive. And obviously, technically, we did score from a chance created by him. So, I mean, it was a solid 20 seconds after, but still. It's a solid chance created, and like I said, that's where the dribbling, the agility, the balance will be so good. Go, go on again with him. I actually missed that. That's my fault. I completely missed that tackle there. Let's just boot that down. Right, Hermoso going in for that slide tackle. Well, it wasn't a slide tackle, but he did get there, and it was a, that ended up just being a, a cross clearance, if you will. So, I mean, he did well to get there. Brilliant positioning, and so far, his work rates have not been a problem at all. So that's that's one good note to take. Obviously, with custom tactics, custom tactics for me always, always come much, much before the actual work rate. So you can counter his medium defensive work rates with that. Go on, him. Most of this is true. Dude, another tackle. Straight back to him. Story of my life, but it is another tackle, and we take that. He is so agile. Jockeying with him with a right and left trigger, jockeying with him, is so effective because of how agile he is and how small. Honestly, he doesn't feel six foot in game. He genuinely feels around the 5'10", 5'11", mark, and I mean, I'll take that. He honestly, going into tackles, very good. Is that, what, his second or third tackle now? He's doing bits, boys. He is doing absolute bits. Oh, Hermoso's dropping back here. Oh, that is amazing. That is absolutely phenomenal. Hermoso, again, he's just dropped that back and just boot that down. That is absolutely phenomenal, man. Holy shit. As you can see, he came up for the corner, got caught out of position, sprinted back, won the ball, caught up with Mohamed Salah, and just passed that back to the keeper like it's nothing. That is absolutely unreal. He's gone. He's gone. See him. See you later, mate. He celebrated on me with Giroud. 5-1. You got absolutely schooled. Schooled? Absolutely schooled, mate. School. I can't say that. What the hell? Dude, all I can say, Pale, unreal. Hermoso, 7.7. .7. Three out of three tackles, one. Six out of six passes, and four out of four dribbles. Literally a 10 out of 10 performance for him. Unreal, boys. Unreal. Boys, sadly, that is all the time we have today. It is currently 8.20 in the morning. I've had one hour sleep, so I need to get to bed. But I have used this normal card and managerial masterpiece countless times, and this card is just a massive upgrade. What With, with the centre-back, what you're looking at is a more agile option. He does not feel six foot in game. He feels so smooth on the ball. Jockeying, he feels very smooth. He honestly is very, very surprising, and I feel like going forward as well, he'll be brilliant with the high attacking work rates, but then if you were to use him as a centre-back, like you guys most likely would be, the medium defensive work rates, it didn't let me down, but yes, it will come in as a letdown. Just make sure you have him on stay-back in instructions as I went over, but still, there'll be times where his defensive work rates aren't class. I do say that, and you did see in that clip, he dropped back defensively absolutely he was just perfect in that aspect like he had a hundred percent pass completion rate a hundred percent dribbles completed rate hundred percent tackles one rate this card is absolutely phenomenal i think he is an absolute steal he's only 300k at the moment but he's going to be dropping he'll be 150 200k in a week or so um if you guys pack him first owner ggs because this card is honestly so fun to use and as i said i have not used a center back this agile since my road to the final account who I actually am currently using now 82 agility 76 balance and the thing is though Akanji is 6 foot 2 um, and now Hermoso is 6 foot 82 agility 71 balance so I believe he's got what he's got He's got five less balance, the same agility, but he's two inches shorter. On the ball, Hermoso, in my opinion, does feel better than Akanji. If you guys have used a can if you guys have used a kanji, I'd say they're very similar centre backs. They've both got solid passing. They're both like honestly very, very, very good agile centre backs. For me, 300 k isn't steal for this card. So for the pros, it is literally going to be his pace. It's going to be his passing. It's going to be his dribbling, defending, physical, and honestly, the five star skill moves. I honestly didn't have to test that out, but it's going to be fun you can use the five star skill moves from the back but it's not like a you know you have to use them because it's just stupid sometimes you will lose a ball if you're trying to muck around with it but if he is in a tight position 
I mean, who cares? Just whip out a rainbow flick with your centre back, you know? It's not something you see regularly, but it will be very, very fun. So, for the rating out of 10, it's going to be a 9.5 out of 10. Absolutely sensational centre back. He gets a strong link to Ramos, a strong link to, I believe, Alex Moreno freeze card if you're looking for the more La Liga side of defence. Uh, but, boys, this card, absolutely unreal, unreal card. It's been your boy Davis. Hopefully, this review did help you out. If it did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and until next time, I'll see you guys all later. Peace out, guys.